So it's the 6th of January today. We are now applying for the ESTA um, thingy on the United States. You need this to travel there. I'll keep you updated. Okay, I just finished my application. It was 21 US dollars. We also bought our flight tickets on the 6th of December. It's worth 395 pounds, which is around 477 dollars. Which we didn't find that expensive. We're flying from London Gatwick to New York, the JFK uh, airport. And as we're going in February, it's uh, low season, so um, they're quite cheap. And we're flying with JetBlue. As I'm going on this trip with nine more friends of mine, uh, we decided to rent an Airbnb because it would be much cheaper. And the Airbnb where we're staying, it's 207 per person for five nights. So it is finally the day before. <laughs> we are going to New York tomorrow just got home from work and I have to do some cleaning get myself some dinner and I need to pack because I still didn't pack much so just so you guys understand I started packing yesterday and I had to wash a lot of clothes and everything is still wet I don't know how am I supposed to take the wet clothes on the suitcase but we're on it so this is the current situation. I'm still not sure if I want to take a big luggage or small ones because we did pay for two small bags plus one check-in bag and I don't actually need that much stuff. Anyways, I have to leave my house in about two hours and I still need to get ready, shower and finish packing. Also, I want to prepare some food because we were doing the maths. From the moment we leave our house until the moment we get to New York, we're gonna be traveling for 19 hours. Not really exciting. So yeah, guys, wish me luck and I need to prepare some food because this boy is gonna be hungry. Are you excited to go to New York? How excited? Point of situation, we just got to the airport. It is 4 a.m. and I'm tired as fuck. Oh, so tired. Mm -hmm. And then to post on my story, like, who, do you remember any pizza like mm -hmm. we did? As we are a group of so many people, we are 10 in total, we are expecting something to go wrong. And first thing that is going to happen is our friend has to go for the like interview at the airport. It is like extra security check, so um, let's see if he's going to New York. So we just arrived to New York and we just had the worst landing in my life. Fuck it. It was horrible. There was people throwing up everywhere. It was so windy. We didn't like it. We didn't enjoy it. And then we arrived. Passport control. A thousand questions. What the hell am I doing here? How much cash I have with me? Now we're getting the air train to get to the city center. just got an outfit change already we came to our apartment we didn't pay our transportation from the airport until the station because there was just too many people and they just opened all the gates which is really nice now we're gonna go I believe we're really central I believe Times Square is just like behind me right now so we're gonna see everything Today is our second day here. It is freezing cold outside. It's like minus 17 and feels like minus 24. I will die. <laughs> My Portuguese ass cannot survive in these weather conditions. However, it's sunny and bright. This is what we like. Today is gonna be very nice because we're gonna go to one of my favorite places that I really wanted to go. It's the Summit One Vanderbilt. I'm not sure if that's how you say the word. Today we're going there. We're also going to Stardust Diner. We rented an Airbnb for like 10 people right in the center midtown in Manhattan. We got here, everything was looking like okay, quite like old. But yeah, we had a problem yesterday night straight away. We arrived to the room and this room specifically was like a sauna. It was literally so hot. All walls were wet, everything was wet. I left everything in the room. And then we just messaged the Airbnb owner and he was just like, oh, just 
starting off, we're like, well, no shit, Sherlock, we would have done that already. But if you guys can see, like, the heating is inside of that. And there is no easy access to that, like, we couldn't open anything. Now I need to get ready because we need to leave the house at half past eight. And it's currently eight and I'm still not ready to go. We're now in Grand Central Station and I feel like I'm in Madagascar. This is beautiful. Now we're going to some place which Clarice, a girl which is with us, says it's really nice. She's going to show to us. So basically they speak in there and it goes all the way there. So let's see if you can hear. Hi guys, I'm from China. Who's there? What? <laughs> okay, let's go. Just came to Starbucks. Chai latte. Seven dollars. In America, you are so expensive. Let me tell you. Wait, wait, wait. McDonald's review. Nuggets like three. Three. You came much better. Oh, so I'm having an apple fritter or fritter or whatever it's called. Fritter, sorry my English. It's really nice. Seven out of ten. Hmm? We can agree? Seven out of ten? I would say nine because I like cinnamon. Nine. Why are you nuggets? Chicken nuggets, however. It's a four out of ten. That bad. We can make chicken nuggets, but it's chicken nuggets. <laughs> What is this like smoke coming out of the um, these things? But I guess it's just a condensation. Right, yeah. ball. That one over there. Yeah, that ball that you always see in the New Year's thing. It's so small. I thought that it was really big. Nah. Miguel, what do you think about Times Square? Actually, I really like Times Square. People, I saw a lot of people like people that are like from here saying that Times Square is like the worst place because of all the scams and stuff. There is a lot of scams like those guys dressed up as uh, Mario and the uh, Spider-Man and stuff. They're annoying as hell. But it is really nice and Times Square is like the image of New York if you think. Some of them. But I want to say guys if you do ever come to New York in this time of the year, it's February. It is so cold, so get yourself some warm clothes because you're gonna need them. Now we're going to these restaurants which, which I saw on TikTok. It's the um, Ellen Stardust Diner, something like that. And it's with people that can't go to Broadway because Broadway is not for everyone, right? But they're still talented enough to be there and sing and perform and stuff. Yeah. 
We arrived to the, st the Steiner. That's cute. They, I don't think they do bookings. Oh, I hear already people singing. I don't think they do bookings, so it's walking only. And there is a queue. So let's see how long we need to wait. We're going in. We waited like five minutes. For everybody who is singing here. So about the restaurant is such a really nice experience. Really, really good. Everyone sings really well. But food is a five out of ten. They could have better food, but everything else is really good. Do you have the Charlie? The Charlie Google. Yes. Now that. So Nuno is having the Charlie complete American experience now. So right now we are in Central Park. Let's go. <laughs> I think it's oh my gosh, but, look, uh, but it's not black already. Like We're now in the zoo in Central Park and my inner child wants to cry because Madagascar. That's a black squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> One of a kind! One of a kind! I've never seen a black squirrel in my life. Black squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> look at this! <laughs> Why it's a rat? Why is it not a rat? It's not a rat. Right now we have no plan. We've just been to the Met, but we didn't actually go in because nobody really wanted and it was too expensive for just like not wanting, you know? So yeah, right now we're just walking next to Central Park. What a pleasure. I want to share a few things of today. The Summit One Wonder... I still don't know how it is the actual name. It is worth every penny, every cent, and I recommend everyone to go and see it. It is actually really nice. And you have a really nice clear view of the Empire State Building because you're coming to New York and you're going to the Empire State Building but from the Empire State Building you can't see the Empire State Building so that's not as nice but yeah I to totally recommend we also went to the Grand Central Station feels really nostalgic even though I've never been there before but I think it's because of the films Madagascar everything here feels like you are in a film Jesus my nose is so red the prices here though they're crazy uh, we went yesterday to the supermarket we bought water we bought juice orange juice and we bought coke yeah coca cola coke and it was like like 20? 18 dollars. 18 dollars. The diner which we went today I really recommend as well. I wish the food was a bit better but I guess we went there more for the experience and not the actual like food I would say even though we should have like nice food. The prices are quite expensive though this is what we pay just myself. Just one dish was like 20 28 dollars something like that everyone there sings really well and as i was saying before everyone that is trying to get into broadway and there's actually people that have been really successful there central park it is really massive it is really pretty as well however i feel like i need to come back in the summer because i think i'm gonna have a totally different experience oh one thing i heard a lot about new york that it is really dirty you see like a few bean bags outside but like in the uk it's much worse, let me tell you. Today I didn't record anything else because we just came home and we went straight to sleep because everyone was really really tired Today we are going to see the Statue of Liberty and we're gonna go like across the bridge like Brooklyn Bridge and I don't know the name of the other two I can't remember what else we will do today We kind of have like a guide <laughs> Our friend prepared everything so we're just going with the flow I'm gonna go get myself some breakfast somewhere outside because everyone bought stuff in the grocery shop but I didn't because I found it so expensive so I was like might as well just get like some Starbucks or something So I got myself a wrap with avocado and some vegetables It's 
where it's just vitamins. I promise. This ferry which we came in is like completely free and it takes you to Staten Island. It takes you past like Statue of Liberty. It is not too close but you can still see it like quite well.